NRLV0 and Zero back here with another video today. And in today's video, uh, this video is all about uh, Brendan Elliott. And um, and as we know, Brendan Elliott's a very reliable player who has a lot to offer. And obviously, it's been known now that Manly have not offered him another deal for 2021 and onwards. He's been re released by the club. Um, he got released at the end of last year because he wasn't part of their future plans. And you know what surprised me a little bit? He doesn't have a club still. Brendan Elliott has no club for 2021, so I don't know where he's going to be playing it, um, you know, for, for this year. Uh, obviously, there was talk he would have went, would have went to the Super League. I remember back in July or, or August, he was about to move to the Super League, but that's gone all quiet. So I don't know where he's going to go now. And um, I've had a bit of a think about what NRL clubs could definitely use his services. And um, in my opinion, these clubs can use, use Brendan Elliott. So... I've got number one, the Cowboys. I think Cowboys could definitely use Brent, uh, someone like Brendan Elliott because, and he and he's and he is a few reasons why. I think Brendan Elliott uh, can definitely assist him in the back line because obviously the Cowboys, you know, they've had a lot of, in case Val Holmes is out, you know, if one of Val Holmes is out for State of Origin, what if they have Kyle Felt who should be making his State of Origin de debut soon? Like, what if he's injured or out, um, you know? And I think Brendan Elliott would be very hand, handy, um, you know, for the Cowboys in terms of the de depth in the back line. He'd be pretty good, I think. Um, you know, and I think Brendan Elliott, and Brendan Elliott is from Queensland as well, so he may, may, may want to go back to Queensland back at home. So I think he'd be very ha handy for the Cowboys because in, in the past, obviously, Cowboys have had a lot of injuries in the back line. And I think someone like Brendan Elliott is the Mr. Fix-It for them, and he'll uh, definitely do a job if you really need him to. So... I think Brendan Elliott would be good for the Cowboys, I think, um, you know, in terms of backup. I think he's very reliable, and um, I can definitely see him going there. Uh, the second club is the Bulldogs. I think, you know, right now, as we know, Christian Crichton, he's the young, uh, the older brother of Stephen Crichton from the Panthers. He's the, um, done, done his ACL, and he'll be missing most of the, most of the season for 2021. And um, they've lost a bit of um, depth in the back as well. They've lost Kerrit Holland. They've lost... You know, yeah, that's the only one I can really come to mind. And Isaiah Tass, uh, Tim and Tim Laffey, they're all backs they've lost. And, um, and I think the depth in the backs isn't that bad. So I think that they're about to get Paul Momorowski from the West Tigers, the, the Bulldogs, apparently. So he, that might happen soon. And then they have Jane Ockenball and Dale Martinez Leslie, like, fighting for a spot on the wing. So their depth isn't that bad, I don't think, overall. Because you've got Nick Kotrick now, Avrilo, got all these good young backs, um, you know, for depth and uh, playing and all that. But I think Brendan Elliott would definitely um, be assist them really well. Because I think that, you know, I think Bulldogs, they, they're they not really set on a, on a fullback yet. And I think that it's even going to be Will Hopper Wire and Nick Meany, in my opinion. But and I'm not saying Brendan Elliott can be a full-time fullback because Brendan Elliott's not a full-time fullback. He's just a, he's just a, a feeling fullback if you really need him to because if there's injuries or suspensions. But I think Bulldogs do need uh, someone like Brendan Elliott because obviously they um, have struggled to get you know back uh, depth in the backs in the past and have, didn't have the best um, you know depth in the backs. Um, you know I think that. I think someone like Brendan Nelly would be very handy for the Bulldogs as well. I think that he could definitely fill in at fullback. He needs to. He could definitely fill in the centre as a wing. And um, I think, yeah, I think Bulldogs could definitely use someone like him. I mean, Bulldogs, Bulldogs have about three spots left, and I think they're going to try and get some sort of back that can uh, be a good, good handy backup depth. And I think Brendan Nelly is definitely all that. So I think Trent Barrett should definitely look at um, bringing, bringing, bringing Brendan Nelly to the club. Um, because he's someone that can definitely um do do a job and give hundred percent when there's injuries or suspensions. So I think it'd be good good addition for the Bulldogs back line, in my opinion. So I think that's that's another club right there. Brendan Nelly could go to, and then my third and final club that I think in the NRL that he can go to is back to the Sydney Roosters. I think where it's all started for Brendan Nelly because Brendan Nelly um he was at the, he um that made his debut back at the Roosters Roosters in twenty fifteen. He had a, a break year. He was he was a, he, he had a fantastic um. 20, 2015 debut season for the Roosters. If you all remember, he had the the flowing um, blonde locks. He had like the long blonde hair, Brendan Nelly, back in twenty fifteen, and he was a oh, he was a, he was a pocket rocket back then. He was scoring tries every week. He was really dangerous back then, Brendan Nelly for the Roosters. It's, it's hard to think um, that long ago, but I think that the, the reason why I think Roosters should try and get Brendan Nelly back as well for depth is because. Obviously, in the back line, Roosters have a lot of representative players. We've got Daniel Tupo, who usually goes ahead and plays with Tonga sometimes, and made for New South Wales in the state of origin. 
got James Tedesco, who's a representative player. He might be out at some stages of the Roosters. Who else have they got? I mean, Josh Morris and Brett Morris, they're getting a little bit old, uh, but they're still very, very good players. I mean, what if in the New Zealand or Australia test they have Joseph Manu out, uh, you know? Um, so I think someone like Brendan Elliott would be very, very helpful for the Roosters. I think... I think during, especially during State of Origin period, because obviously Roosters have a lot of players out then, and he can come in and replace James Tedesco at fullback if he wanted to for at least an, at least um, two games or, or three games of the State of Origin season when Tedesco's out. Or you can play him on the wing if, if Daniel Tupas then playing State of Origin next year. If, if that remains, remains to be seen if he does, but he could definitely fill on the wing, Brendan Elliott right there. And if you really need him to, if there's injuries in the centres, if, or if, if, say, Josh... Josh Morris or Joseph Martin got suspended or something. Uh, Elliot can Ren Elliot can slide right in, into there. And I think Roosters are a little bit a little bit low uh, in the depth in the backs. I think a little bit in, in a way. So Ren Elliot will, will be a good addition for them in my opinion. In my in my opinion, and I think that just just it'd be really uh, makes sense for him to go back to the Roosters where it all started because I think that you know he I think he came from the junior systems there and. Um, I think it'd be good to see him back at the Roosters because he was good back then when he was playing for them in 2015 and 2016. So he was good there. So I could definitely see him going back there. But um, that's my opinion of where Brendan Illich goes. Is the Cowboys, Bulldogs, Roosters, and maybe in the Super League. But um, either way, wouldn't surprise me if he stayed at Manly because obviously he's got no club. And I, and I wouldn't be surprised if Manly did keep him, to be honest. But unlikely, but could happen. But guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And where do you see Brendan Dilley going to, going to in 2021 this year? Do you want do you want him at your club? That's the question. So uh, let me know in the comment section if you want him at your club, Brendan Dilley. But guys, I'm out of here and I'll have to see you in the next one.